Okay, part two for our 331 compression tilt style jam liner. Apologies for making a part two. Uh, TikTok made me split them. They said it was too long. So just as a reminder, if you don't know if you have a compression tilt style jam liner or not, please look at our part one. We go over all those in detail. And as a reminder, this is just my sample window I have. It's not a compression tilt. It's actually easy tilt because it has these latches. Um, but I'm using it as an example to show you where to measure on a double hung window when you know you have a compression tilt and then using our chart. So let's get started. The next commonly asked question is how do you order the right size for your window once you verify that you do indeed have the 86 E series compression tilt jam liner? It's you have to use our chart, which is on our website under the part number 331 for you to look at. You can first go by glass size, and this is the size, the height of your glass. So for example, if you look at this window, you're going to go by the sash and measure your glass. So this guy, the visible glass, we're at about 11 inches, and there's a little bit that's hidden behind that glass stop. So we're at about 12 inches. Here is our glass size. So if you look down at your chart, you only have certain sizes available. So 12 is your smallest one we can even do. Then there's 14, 16, it's obviously not 14 or 16. So you have a 12 inch glass height. Now this is talking for the individual. The next thing you can verify is then your overall height, two foot six inches, which is 30 inches total. To measure that opening height, the two foot six inches or the 30 inches, you'll have to open your sashes. And sometimes it's easier, I definitely say, to do this with the sashes out. But let's take a look at this. We have it there all the way above into the opening height. It's 30 inches. So we have now verified that we had a 12 inch glass height and we had a two foot six or 30 inch opening height. And then your next options that you have on the chart is your part numbers, which is a beige option or a white option. And it says standard sash weight. And that's for these two. These are the standard sash weight. So if we would remove this sash, just one of them, and weigh it, if it's about 11 pounds, you need to order one of the standard ones. And as you can see, this one's not available in beige, it's only available in white. If you keep going, then we have the heavy duty. These are for a heavier sash. So again, when you remove your sash and you weigh it, more than 15 pounds, you want to order the heavy duty um, sash here. And then our last column we have is length to longest point. This is of the physical jam liner itself the top all the way down to the longest point where that angle is. So if we had a 12 inch glass height, an opening height or cavity height of that two foot six inches or 30 inches, the jam liner measurement itself would be 30 inches and seven sixteenths. And then you would determine heavy duty or standard based on the stash weight. So example, working backwards, if we're looking at our jam liner itself, measuring the length to the longest point, let's use this one um, that I have here in stock and measure it and then work our way backwards. So now we're going to measure our jam liner. It's easiest to do this if it's out of your window from the top and it says length to longest point. So if you remember the bottom's at an angle, you don't wanna measure at the shortest point, you wanna measure at the longest point and that is at 62 and 7 sixteenths. So now that we have that measurement, let's go back to our chart. So our measurement from length to longest point was the 62 and 7 sixteenths. So now we can just follow the chart back over and do our cross check. You should have a glass size, the glass height of 28 inches, and that is the top sash and the bottom sash, each glass height will be 28 inches. Your cavity or opening height would be five foot two inches or 62 inches. 
then you get your, if it's a um, standard weight sash, you'd weigh your either the top sash or the bottom sash. If it's around 22 pounds, you need the standard part number and you can order it in beige or white. Um, or if it's more than 22 pounds, if it's more like the 28 pounds, your sash, then you want to order the heavy duty in either the beige or the white, whatever your per preferred color is. And then that overall length of the jam liner itself, the longest length to the longest point would be the 62 and 7 16 inches. Lastly, all of these that you can order on our website is for a 50-50 sash split, which means your lower sash glass height and your upper sash glass height, which has your glass in it, are equal. They are the same. So both of these are 12. Now there's also a 60-40 or 40-60 split where your top sash is smaller and your bottom sash is lower or longer or vice versa. If that's the case, you need to email us for a special quote if that's what you have. But there it is for you in a nutshell on how to order our part number 331 compression tilt jam liners. We do not stock these because there are so many options that you can choose from. They're made to order. Um, lead times can vary just depending on the factory, um, if they have them in stock or not, or if they do have to manufacture them, or if um, there's just some uh, shortages that we've been having the past few years. So we usually say between four and eight weeks. If you want to know for sure before you order, you can shoot us an email with your part number, color, and quantity that you want to order, and we can double check uh, lead times with the factory. So thank you so much. Hope this helps clear up a few questions on how to order our compression tilt jam liners. Thank you.